on. Good afternoon, Overwatch fans, and welcome back to the EGF, where we are at the end of our season, LaFon. It is so, well, not the end of the season, but at least the end of the portion of the season here in 2021. It makes me a little sad. It's like it just started, and now, you know, we're going to be going on, on a little hiatus here for a couple months, but before then... We do have some amazing matches to be able to show you tonight. My name is Captain Jack. I'm your play-by-play, -play, joined by LaFon on Analyst and Aeon on Production. And we're going to be starting off with Niagara University versus Canisius College. Now, LaFon, these two teams are, uh, you know, I, I don't mean to be rude, but it seems like it's a battle for the bottom. Yeah, I mean, both these teams still hunting for some success, right? So uh, looking looking forward to seeing which of them steps up on top because it is, as you said, heading towards the end of the, or ahead of the break, I should say. It mm. still hasn't quite struck me that it's going to be 2022 in 30 days. Just, it or still even less feels than that, like... Even less than that, 28, right? So yeah. um, I still think it's 2019, uh, but, you know, here we are. So uh, 2022 in a couple of, couple of days, as it were. As you said, the game's up front. And yes, the... These teams do need to find their first or find some success, right? Ending uh -huh. the the first split on a win uh, is going to be huge for morale, right? Um, it's something you can take into the new year, kind of saying, "Listen, sure, we didn't have the greatest uh, fall uh, greatest fall season, but something to work for, work towards, um, ideally with a win here." Yeah, and I mean, it all comes down to that uh, that momentum, right? Like you were saying, you know, if you can say you got the win here, maybe it's the start of that good old beep beep reverse sweep. You're just taking the long way around. We're going to be starting off on Elios, uh, getting into the lighthouse for our first map. Getting set uh, to see this composition. It's looking like Rush versus Rush is uh, Canisius College with the Upstate Stew 8. Great name. Uh, considering uh, the Reinhardt there, but underway we are, and uh, early. I mean, just the poke phase uh, kind of coming through here. That's true. Zombie abuser here on the legs, going to be looking to create some space. Uh, falls off the high ground, but the rotation from Kinesius is going to allow them to go ahead and take control of the objective. Massive anti-nade coming in from Daddy Mixer, and that opens it up for them to just bowl on over Niagara. They'll take control of the point and start their climb. It's uh, you just kind of hold the high ground, get that first pick off, and then find potential to get to the objective. So strong play there by Kanisha's College, as we said. Their composition obviously built around it. We're going to see switches coming in from Niagara University as they go for the double bubble. More of a dive look here, mm. looking to isolate a single target, right? So um, trying to maybe find the, the Hanzo or the Soldier, though with the mobility, certainly a tougher uh, tougher ask Ooh. than might initially consider. Oh, beautiful pick there by Zombie Abuser to start things off could not get that uh could not get that health pad down in time uh for kinesius to be able to be saved but we will continue to see them hold for now as we see this double bubble kind of poking in looking to create some space daddy mixer having a hard time staying alive right now as we see the rotation in from niagara we are at about the 50 percent mark where it looks like niagara will indeed take control yeah, this is the composition's sort of strengths, right? It, it, it's a snowball-based composition. So if you can get that first pick off, you can start to open things up a little bit. And, you know, considering they just switched to a lot of these characters, the ult, uh, ult charge for wow. Niagara University is looking pretty good. Right? You're going to have mm -hmm. the blade. You're going to have the nano boost as well. And, I mean, realistically, you're trying to get in with Daddy Mixers here as nano boost early. But, I mean, Niagara want to slow this down as much as they can. That's true. Kinesius got a couple, got a couple ultimates as well on the table. Ghost maybe opening it up with a uh, self-destruct, but here comes the Nano Blade. Grabs the double kill. The supports are down, and there's nothing that Kinesius are going to be able to do about it now. Uh, we'll go ahead and see Brave Leaf continuing to move in. Maybe a little over aggressive, and will pay for it. That may be a little rough for their pushback in. 
Uh, considering the respawns are coming in about the same time, we saw Special K there go for the, the Cassidy as opposed to sticking on the soldiers. So um, the, the Winston should be back in time, and you can see Brave Leaf getting there. Uh, this is going to allow, uh, I mean, Kanisha's to path through, but the Graviton Surge is available. Got to stay alive. DC224 out. Good start here for Kanisha's College. All right, Ham is able to get the trade as well, but the res comes in, bringing them back to a full six. Oh, the shatter coming in, gets nothing but Brave Leaf's bubble. And Zombie Abuser and Brave Leaf just absolutely decimate Kinesis College. They'll can get that hold right back in their favor and start that climb once again. Yeah, very, very strong uh, mental position there by High Fizzy, right? The Resurrector bring the Graviton in play, and then DC224 not giving any time for Kanisha's College to react, and of course, a brilliant block by Brave Leaf. So, uh, I mean, this is now ticking towards that final fight territory here for Niagara University. They're going to try and play stall around the Primal Rage and try and b uh, build Arisa Lee up to her a Nano Boost here, but um, uh, definitely going to be a tough ask. However, staying alive, got to be, got to keep that Hanzo up. That is true, and with Ham down, it might be a little rough for them to continue to hold the line. The Primal Rage goes out here on the objective, but first picks are in for Kinesis as they are trying to hold the line here, trying to get this in their favor as Overtime gets ready to tick away right at the 99% mark. We see them retake control as we head into Final Fight territory. Here's the big problem for Niagara University is that Kanisha's College did not actually use that much in that last fight. They're mm -hmm. going to have a lot for this last hold, and Niagara University needed to pull magic out with this nano boost. I would like to see it applied to Brave Leaf to get in to contest, but um, mm -hmm. I, it, using that to kind of open space up and then follow up the tactical advisor. They only have one, they only have about 12% remaining, so they have to hit the go button now. Yeah, they got to find a way to get in there, see if they can make it work. And it looks like they are lined up, and it looks like it's going to be going on to hand. They're going for the Nano Blade, but the Tenai, it finds two. The Fire Strike and Self Destruct just cleaning up Niagara right now. Kinesis not going to be allowing any of these doors of opportunity to be opened to Niagara. Take the Lighthouse 100 to 99 as we head to our next map. It's an unfortunate sort of final fight there for Niagara University. Kanisha's College just had too much, too many resources to kind of work with as we get a quick look at a replay here. And yeah, indeed, the Nano Blade gets shut down by an Earth Shatter. Obviously, the sound barrier is there too. So um, it, it's a tough place to be, right? When you have to commit so many resources to a single ultimate to make it find value. And then Kanisha's College respond with an equal number and just find, you know, uh, the eliminations more. Now we get to go to Ruins. So I would not be surprised to see this rush stick in play. Our Flicka uh, using the Junkrat, at least initially, certainly going to mean that the front line's a little bit more uh, prone to that spam damage. We'll see how well Niagara University can react, especially with being able to charge up the Zarya so much quicker. That is true, but if it, this is anything like my plat games, as long as you take out the Zarya quickly, she may get a little charge to start off, but the elimination will pay off in dividends. Let's see if they can make it work for them already. Seeing Upstate Stew getting forced off of that high ground with Brave Leaf in tow. Ghost is able to get the initial elimination there on High Fizzy with the Mercy out of the fight. That might create just enough space for them to take control of the point, but the fight is far from over. Uh, Bray Leaf and Australia also getting taken down, and the cleanup is fear from Kinesis. Yeah, we're going to see some swaps come in here for Niagara University. I don't necessarily agree, Kay. That makes much more sense, the Reinhardt mm -hmm. coming in. I was going to say that the Roadhog is just uh, not going to find value against both the Reaper and the Junkrat, <laughs> but the the, the the Reinhardt makes a little bit more. You can play a little bit closer brawl. Um, it's going to be a lot harder, though, for Brave Leaf, right? The damage that this tank has to face is significantly higher than what Kanisha's College kind of sits in play. And Special K on the flank here. Oh, my goodness, that's a lot of damage. Ooh, Ori coming in with 75% all upstate stew getting slept out and almost getting eliminated there. Thankfully, Daddy Mixer's there to heal him right back into the fight. And it looks like, unfortunately, they're not going to be able to get in. They just clean it right on up. Kinesis holding the line right now as they approach 50%. And the big problem here is that Niagara University are playing for these big ultimates, these big combos, right? The Nano Blade specifically, but Kinesis College has so much online to kind of defend yeah, against man. it. The Sound Barrier obviously is going to be able to mitigate a lot of that damage, but then too, you can use the Nano Boost as a defensive opportunity should the Genji be able to dash through the back line and get on someone. So that's something you have to keep an eye out on here for Ooh. sure. 
a wor very horrible timing there. Ham ends up fa falling into the trap of Flicka and uh, gets deleted right there. So no nano blade for this fight. The tire has been ripped. It is a Beyblade. Finds the double. And that is going to be a cleanup crew there. I see the final fight for Niagara to get in. Closing in right now. Uh, yeah, I, it, not only is it the final fight here, Niagara University still has not solved the problem that they need for this big combo. They're going to need to dump at least four ultimates in, and then you have to worry about the recontest. That, no, they nano the, they nano the Mercy. Oh, that is unfortunate. It seems that it was just a mistake, but no, that nano does nothing against a beautiful death blossom. The Graviton comes in from DC, but it's not enough to turn the tide. Flick it and Ghost clean the objective 100 to 0. Kinesis looking to take their first victory in this half of the season. Lock it down here on Elios and start us off 1 to 0. Yeah, we're going to get a quick uh, highlight, obviously, of the uh, play of the game here from Special K. This is on the flank at the very end with the Death Blossom. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and credit to Kanisha's College, right? Having ha Not overstepping their bounds with their resources. That's something that we've uh, kind of highlighted throughout the season um, with some of the teams that have struggled to find wins, right? They haven't been able to kind of get in to those momentum plays, uh, right? All, either they overcommit their DPS ultimates, overcommit their tank ultimates, et cetera, et cetera. Um, here, I think there was a lot of restraint from, uh, from Kanisha's College, which allowed them to take the victory victory um, here on map one. That's absolutely true. And like we said, both of these teams, if you're looking at the uh, looking at the standings right now, they're sitting in 20th and 21st place. So they can't get any closer. So to say that Kinesis has the lead right now is just a technicality. I would, I would say uh, Niagara definitely has the opportunity and the means to be able to turn it around being actually the higher seed with at least one win under their belt right now. So as they kind of determine where or, or as we uh, uh, find out where we're going to be heading next, that might determine whether the tides will change and we'll see things go in their direction. It looks like our next map will be Blizzard World. So depending on if they got any uh, any dive or that double bubble we saw for a little bit coming out on Elios, maybe uh, that might work out a little bit better where they have space to move. Right, and I think I think specifically here now, not to not to you know, kind of sugarcoat. Um, the strategies that come through here because mm -hmm. um they've struggled I, I i think i think that's a fair it's that's a fair assessment to make here um and i think for niagara university there's some small things they can kind of fix that will allow them to step in in a big way um and that's something they can kind of highlight and kind of pay attention to as they kind of try and get forward in the series right um i think primarily amongst that uh the, the one thing i kind of said is uh, they're playing for these big combos a lot of the time right they're playing for the dragon blade and the nano boost to be used simultaneously yeah. I would like to see those uh, decoupled, right? I'd like to see that used less and use more engagement timings instead. So what, one thing that kind of set it, set, uh, stepped into mind is when I highlighted, you should probably nano the Winston on that or on that Lighthouse play. Um, it, yeah. The reason why is it allows you to put a lot more uh, space, a, a lot more pressure on the objective. You're, you have to stand, you, the tank can stand there. They take more resources from the opposition. And then Dragon Blade, even though it's not nano boost, it is able to come in with the cleanup, right? So you use, yeah. you kind of layer your resources that way. Um, and I think for Niagara University, that is a change that they're, you know, one or two fights away from kind of turning things around. And all of a sudden, they're in a different conversation about where they're standing in the, in the, in the victory column. That's absolutely true. I mean, you, you see the Winston getting nanoed is more of like an, a, a rough axe just chopping through everything. And the nano blade is just a, a, a fine saber looking to clean up everything that remains now as we head into blizzard world niagara is going to be taking the attack with the double bubble composition um and yeah this is going to be more of a, a, a poke phase right a lot of a lot of slow targets here the double shield coming in um just got to find that first pickoff right just break down the mm -hmm. rind shield get in and get ham uh some value on this cassidy that's really what you're trying to play around is the good 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 start here just putting pressure on the reinhardt shield especially with the fan the hammer there that is true. Ghost in the back line gets demacked. That's a great way to start things off. Oh, the pick almost coming in there onto upstate, but is going to get saved 
uh, by Daddy and Mella Monster. They're doing everything they can to keep their main tank in line, but without being able to really poke back, it's very difficult for them to make it happen. The Jedi already out for Ham, going Ham right now, as they take the objective at the three minute mark. That's gonna give them over five minutes to start moving their way through the street phase. That is exactly kind of the uh, adaptation we need to see from Niagara, Niagara University. They, they they play the layer game, right? They kind of play the tanks up aggressive, the heals come through from Aristili who builds up her uh, amplification matrix very swiftly, and then you put the pocket on the ham so that the, you know, break the Rhine shield, you, they obviously caught out Ghost on the flank, so that's a good start as well. Here it's a little less, uh, you know, positive as they get, as they lose their off tank early to Niagara University, but they just need to slow things down here a little bit. Yeah, it's almost like we're seeing the combination uh, that you were talking about earlier with the uh, with the nano blade just uh, adjusted now for Niagara using that uh, uh, using the Cassidy in combination with the window is just showing to be a little bit more effective for them, especially when you're just poking down a heck of a ton of damage. We see the Blizzard coming online, zombie abuser getting two in the Blizzard, but you gotta get the cleanup with the Dead Eye. If finds ham aristelia trying to hold the team together but the shatter comes out from upstate stew and the hammer starts us swinging and that's going to be kinesis taking back the objective by four yeah it, it started off strong for niagara university it really did uh you know dc224 gets back in and they're able to kind of close the gap the nano or sort of the, the blizzard comes down from a zombie abuser but again special k on the high ground has been sort of a clutch factor here on on the cast that he gets the dead eye now i mean look at this like a standing in the corner um i don't know that anyone's gonna scout them and this junk rat should pop off here in the corner in the spotlight your religion is lost unless you are the religion of the junk rat Quad kill coming in, and Niagara's got to go back to spawn quick. Yeah, bravely going to take the uh, quick, uh, uh, the quick step off the map there to reset with the team. Smartly done. Yeah, just not identifying Flicka in the corner there. It's tough, right? You you rarely check that uh, side of things, and uh, the big problem that for Niagara University is that is a very efficient way to win a fight. And so now they still have a lot of resources. I would expect Upstate Stu to get Nano Boosted here. You have the self-destruct if Ghost wants to play aggressively as well. And so it's all about the tempo here for Kanisha's College. That being said, um, Niagara making the smart play to go for the high ground while Kanisha's all on the low ground. Start this rotation off and sort of take position away from the team in blue. I, I really like this poke play, this pinch play here coming in from Niagara University as they split 50-50. Yeah, they're trying to figure out the best way uh, to make that happen. It looks like now they're going to dedicate uh, to moving their way through the low ground. The Am Matrix being provided to try to poke in a little bit longer. Oh, Brave Leaf gets caught out as DC moves to the high ground, is rotating uh, kind of on their own. And it, you got to think that that may be a little bit dangerous, but it looks like they're be able to create the space as the rest of Niagara are able to recover with the res bringing Bravely back into the action. But DC not watching their back. There's a ghost on you. Gonna go ahead and take him out. And then we see the tire coming in. Doesn't even wait to take down Zombie Abuser. Knows the rest of the team will take them out. That's another cleanup. And now only two minutes remain. Yeah, the unfortunate thing here is that Niagara University identified the correct method of attack, right? You have to split the high ground. It, it, Sigma is actually really good at taking that flank at high ground solo or with a single other person beside them. They have a lot of utility in terms of the stun, in terms of the shield, uh, allowing space to be claimed. So I'd like to see more rotations come from this. And now with Bray Leaf on the Roadhog, there should be a lot of flanking going on from Niagara University. There really, really should. So um, mm -hmm. I, I'd like to see that 2-4 split set up coming in from Niagara University because they're running out of time here and they need to find an execution, uh, ideally off the back of this blizzard as well. Yeah, that's true. Well, they got to make sure. Oh, you always got to be careful leading in with the blizzard, though. Thankfully, it didn't get eaten by ghosts, but the Deadeye will clean up the supports. That might be the opening that they need as long as we don't see an absolute change here with the special K turning the tide. We should be all right to see this objective captured. And there it is, pick after pick. Now coming in for Niagara as they make their way into objective Bravo. A minute and a half added to the clock as they go ahead and make their way into the castle. Yeah, that's what you need to see from Niagara University, right? Set those flanks up, get in past the shield, and then kind of find value here. Bravely trying to hunt down the, uh, the Moira, but won't even get the opportunity to land the hook as uh, Ham is on a tear. 
They should be able to get this final blow. Yep, Flicker's gonna go down. So the Junkrat goes back to the spawn room. And that's gonna be the reset here. Nyra University, sure. They don't have a lot of time, but they're making it work, especially off the back. They're putting Ham with the pocket here. Good find. And they're just gonna not let Tanisha's Callers reset a six. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Take space and make space is the name of the game when you're on the attack. He does get anti, but is gonna be able to hold on for now, but without a cheat. Oh! A ghost bomb goes a little bit too high. I was expecting it to fall, but it hit where it needed to go. Ham waiting for the wall to go down. We've been seeing this a lot lately with the Maywall coming up and the shatter. Sends it down, looking to clean up the fight, but no, the transcendence from Aristelia is there to help the team continue to push through and make the space that they were looking for pick after pick coming in, just body littering the objective as the payload starts making its way in. Yeah, here's the rip tire from uh, the flank. No one identifies it. That's three down. And that's going to be the hold coming in for this particular fight. Again, Flicka on the flank finds no uh, finds no resistance whatsoever. Uh, and that's going to signal the team kill coming in. Uh, Niagara University, you cannot be letting the Junkrat get this much value. You can see Flicka going to swap over here, I believe. Uh, yeah, to the soldier for this last fight. And Niagara University now, 40 seconds remaining, uh, running out of time. Flanking Flicka indeed. The alliteration just writes itself. So we see Niagara getting ready to move back in. Gravitic Flux comes in, finds one. Uh, but DC is a little separated from the team and upstate and they take advantage. The supports are down, but they're looking to delete their support line as well. But I don't think it is gonna be enough. With 15 seconds remaining on the clock, they may not get an extra chance to take this payload. Uh, 12 seconds remaining. You'll see the, the, the quick uh, swaps over to the fast moving characters. Ham to the Doomfist is going to be the one who needs to touch, but I don't know that they'll get there. And with two seconds, they do get the t a tag onto the, onto the cart and they get one. Mm -hmm. So it's a start. That's a good way to get started here. But they got to be able to get the picks as well. Daddy Mixer finds Zombie Abuser. Auntie Nate finds two. And the sh just lays everybody on the ground. Overtime is going to tick away 106 meters here on objective chart as we head into round two to see if Kinesis can hold just as well on the attack as they did on their defense. Yeah, so it's it, it's not, it's they're not, uh, Niagara University are not in a desperate position yet by any stretch, mm. obviously. Blizzard World, very difficult to attack, especially that second phase. So, um, you know, being able to get the cart nearly to that third objective is going to give them some breathing room um, here. And I mean, that being said, you don't want to go down 2-0 um, here in our first of three, uh, you know, uh, cycle uh, for uh, for this setup. So uh, Niagara University definitely have the work cut out for them. But again, they have some room to work with. That's absolutely true. And uh, just looking at uh, initial setups right here, it looks like we're going again for a little bit of this pseudo mirror match between the two teams. Definitely wanting to stick on this uh, brawl or rush compositions that we've been seeing them utilize, which uh, honestly, if you're looking from a meta standpoint, has something unless you're going for the that traditional like Cassidy uh, May, you know, the the crowd control Mega CC kind of death ball style. Uh, I like the way that both Niagara and Kinesis are uh, kind of changing things up. Not uh, not a bad idea, right? Uh, if you can if you can just throw a curveball, something that perhaps Kinesis College is not expecting, can really gum up the works, uh, both literally and figuratively, uh, with the Symmetra slowing things down. And you can see the turret's doing a lot of damage on the entry already. Ham up to 10% on, on that ult before the fight even sort of commences. Uh, we will see them take the high ground, though. Turrets aren't going to get it, but Ham does get the DMAC in the end onto Ghost with already a tank halfway down that is going to create some space for them to work in the level 3 beam, both for them and for DT. Just absolutely tears through. Carriers already online. Exactly right. I mean, that's the that's the that's the power of putting pressure on the choke point. You have to kind of walk through it. It doesn't get clear. This, this, the 
it slow everything down and that that free damage gives ham time to charge Ooh. up right especially onto ghost mm -hmm. onto the dmac and then the front line is free um for the symmetra player and can you just college now back to the drawing board um as they try and re-aggress onto subjective they made no progress in their ult charge remember that that was a very very one-sided fight so this ult's gonna be used early and is gonna bisect this thing ghost doesn't even get a chance to get healed by their supports yeah, there's nothing that they can do. The pin comes in, though. Take down a little ham sandwich right there between the right hearts. But they'll get res back up into the fuck. Uh, zombie abuser able to use the teleporter. Looking for that pick. Fall up incredibly low as Melamonster. Just barely going to be able to get away in the end. Uh, 220 on the clock right now as they're looking... Get healed up. Maybe a little pull rotation from Kinesis. Uh, no, they're going to go ahead and po poke back in on that high ground. See if they can get an initial pick. But with the first right outside of that area, as soon as they drop down, it may be a little zombie abuser way out of position. Those legs do be doing leg day there to be able to get back out. Moving their way, and now the Reinhardt with the Shatter ready to go briskly. Sending it on the ground, but the beat is there. Melamonster to hold it all together. Kinesis looking to create some space, but nothing can keep the damage of that level 3 beam. And Ham just tears through them like a hot knife through butter. And that is going to be it. Minute 30 remains on the clock as Niagara, or sorry, Kinesis have to figure out a way to turn the tide. Yeah, this is going to be, uh, Niagara University still have all the tools they need, right? It's been so inexpensive for them. Kinesis has not really put a lot of pressure on that high ground. Here we're going to see a different rotation come in as they try and play the low ground look. But again, this is the where the, this is where the Grafton Surge is going to find a ton of value. You see DC224 posturing for it. That is true. They're waiting for it and leveled up. He doesn't come in. All the damage is right there. Uh, takes down bravely. Didn't have enough healing there to keep them protected. Self-destruct goes into the back line and takes down DC2 with both the with both of the uh, tanks down. And now a support and DPS down. That's gonna be it. This can has finally been open. Objective Alpha captured just in the nick of time. Gonna add 2:30 to the clock as they pay through the street. So that's uh, listen. A good good time by though from Niagara University, right? They don't um, they, they don't for, they don't overcommit in a lot of those fights, and it really does take that last moment here for Kinesis College to unlock. Now Ham going over to the Farah, and this is a very smart change. Even with Flicka moving to the Soldier to kind of mirror the hit scan, um, this is going to be very difficult because again, Niagara University are going to put a lot of pocket power into Ham. You can see Aracely on on the Mercy giving protection to Ham in the sky. It's a good thing as their Shatter Ooh. comes down and knocks down too. The Shatter comes down, but doesn't tell you it's looking for Blossom of Special K. Is able to take down a high fit, and that cleanup is still looking to come in. Upstate Stu clearing the high ground with the rest of the team. All the supports push the payload. They're looking to make some good time. Yeah, this is a stagger fight. Now Niagara University need to full reset. They can't try and you know keep poking here. There's not really much going to be available to them. I'm going over to the Doomfist. It's not really anything counterable. Again, there's no stuns. Does get the punch off onto Special K, but not quite enough to clean things up. As a Ghost finds uh, an awkward position. Oh, they just give up the objective, though. No one contests. Oh, uh, that's unfortunate with the big Bravo captured. They got to back up. It's on doors. All right, there. The shit plays them off. It is cleaning day for Upstate Stu with three health remaining. They're still pushing the envelope of Objective 3, sending Niagara right back to spawn. Uh, I mean, identifying there's no shield in front of you, right? The timing there for the tank mm -hmm. player is spectacular. And now Niagara University need to pull some magic out, right? Because this is the last objective. You still have 245 to clear off the clock. And you need to win this. Good start here with the Amplification Matrix just to put pressure downrange. That's true. We do have the TAC Visor here online as well, ready and ready to unleash. The counter tackle comes out. Upstate Stu falls incredibly low. And with the shield down, now they can really make some waves. But it doesn't look like it's going to be enough just yet. Put some pressure on. Gets an elimination or two. But just enough to send Kanishas back to spawn for a regroup. Very, very well done there. Um, 
the, the counter punch play there from from Ham, you know, the upstate do has to counter pin because otherwise there's going to be elimination on the target. Um, mm -hmm. Just puts pressure into the back line. So uh, the follow up there is there from New Niagara University. And now look at those check marks here from uh, from Niagara University. Oh, there we do. We see the Space Jam come in, and but the beat from Mellow Monster is there to save the day. But Special Case, like your beat, can withstand the Space Jam, but can it withstand the Blossom too? It is not enough for them to be able to hold the line, and they're going to have to continue uh, to defend this with all they've got. Kanisha is able to turn the tide and looking to make their way into Objective Charlie very quickly. They're looking for that. They're trying to stop it, but they can't break through. And Kinesis, in an absolute fervor, take Objective Charlie, lock down Blizzard World, and already take us to match point. You know, the highlight here but the highlight of the uh of the, the real difference maker on this map was the fact that uh Canisius college prevented any contest coming through on the second objective right the second phase the fact mm -hmm. that there was no defensive pressure from niagara university in that situation meant that time bank wise you're fighting for your lives with three minutes left on the clock and you don't even have to traverse the entirety of that objective so Canisius mm -hmm. college with uh you know confidence under pressure um in those impact moments making sure they're going for the team kills making sure they're catching the stragglers out all of these uh sort of situations added on top is a big part as to why they're up to zero here um in uh, after two and put themselves at match point incredibly Incredibly quickly through this series. That's absolutely true, but I like the fact that Niagara has kind of kicked it into high gear, and that match was a lot closer than we were seeing on Elios. The question is, is there additional notches to be kicked up? You know, can we see that beep beep reverse sweep after the half, or is this going to be Kinesis finally putting a win on the board for this season? We'll find out after the short break.
Welcome back, Overwatch fans. We are in the match, ready and raring to go. It looks like we have gotten uh, actually in a, a little bit late. The match is already underway here on Volskaya Industries to get things started. And it doesn't look like we're seeing much of a change in composition here, LaFon, uh, except for Flicka bringing out that good old tour. Yeah, this is a good start, though, for Niagara because they trade DC224 for two more. They should be able to get the Ana here as well without losing any further members. So, yeah, with Ghost being demacked, this really should be the opening up of the objective uh, A uh, fairly quickly for uh, for the team in red. Oh, zombie abuser able to get a pick, but then gets Helix Rocket into oblivion by special K. But the dead eye, what? Him already out on it once again. That first minute, we see this. We see this Cassidy just absolutely dominating the objective as Objective Alpha is captured. That's gonna add three minutes to the clock. Give 5:40 for them to push into Bravo. Yeah, really, really strong pick. I mean, uh, assault is so. Uh, it, it, you, it, especially in uh, Objective Alpha, it's really favored to the attackers if you start to get those trade picks, right? Because the spawns are so much closer. Um, Zombie Abuser, though, not really uh, showing, uh, you know, a ton of uh, respect necessarily to the Torb. And I mean, in this case, rightfully <laughs> so, as uh, Flicka just kind of walks away from that duel. So in the end, takes some space, gets the turret down, and now Niagara University can walk in bravely. Gonna really be the pressure, under pressure here. They have the shatter, and if they can break the shield, this could be the opening required. That is true. Uh, very interesting uh, turnaround right there for Bravely. If I'm not for certain what they were trying to do, the Shatter finds nothing but shield, though. The Deadeye finds the D mech uh, to try to create some space, but it looks like the damage is done with those ultimates off the table. Niagara is going to have to pull back and wait to regroup for another fight. Yeah, a bit surprising the Shatter was committed when that many players were already eliminated. So um, perhaps one that... Um, Niagara University is going to want back. Hand, though, starting it off right, gets the elimination to the DMAC Diva and continues with pressure on Flicka, who's caught out from behind the shield. So it's a bit of a soft reset now for both squads. The Deadeye, or sorry, the uh, Amplification Matrix from the high ground. Upstate has no shot. Just gets there eliminated we very go. swiftly. There, it's absolutely beautiful. Flicka to follow a zombie abuser, just using that pulse rifle to delete anything in their way. And there comes the TAC Visor, finds, uh, or actually, another Deadeye out. Ham finds the double kill on the support, and Aristalia I'm going to get in on the next two. Tired of DPS taking all of the all the key limbs there. The point is clear, as we see four minutes ticking down right now. But uh, Kinesis 
you know, doing everything that they can to at least keep a toe on the objective in their favor. Yeah, this is just to buy time now. Uh, uh-oh. Uh, a little, little too far. <laughs> I know what you were trying to do might not be the, the goal that you were looking for there, uh, uh, DC, but nevertheless, they still get it. To uh, three minutes, 31 seconds remaining on the clock. Niagara setting a really good time for themselves here on Bill Sky Industries, but they're going to have to take the defense now to see if they can hold the line. Yeah, not gonna lie, I was a little worried. I was a little worried. I saw the plate of spaghetti. I saw it tilting. I saw it. But the recovery was there from Niagara University. Excellently done there uh, from the squad to complete the objective. And I like the focus fire, right? Identify which target is gonna is the most deadly to you in that particular scenario. Focus them down and then keep it in your favor. Keep the point and the sort of progress in your favor. So. Excellent adaptation from Niagara University. It wasn't something we saw from them in the first two maps. So the fact they were able to bring it in map number three um, shows a level of uh, improvement from map to map that I think bodes well for them uh, here as they try and equalize um, in, or prevent this defense uh, from falling away. And we do see a little bit of a swap here on the side of Niagara. Ham coming in on the soldier this time around taking that from zombie abuser who's going to be coming in on the hanzo uh now hanzo has been coming a little bit back into favor in the recent meta uh just because i mean he throws logs if you know anything about hitboxes and whatnot i mean it, it, if you're decently able to aim with a hanzo you're going to be clicking heads like nobody's business so let's see if zombie abuser has got a keen eye for where those arrows need to go Start from Brave Leaf gets a good fire strike in, 15% alt charge, and so now comes the uh, the, the the fallback moment. DC24 needs to stay in lockstep with the Reinhardt though, um, if they want to prevent Kanisha's call from college from scaling um, that front line, right? But uh, so far doing a good job of just poking out Ham, making uh, Ghost's life pretty miserable in terms of that mm -hmm. damage throughput. There's a teleport Ooh. onto the flank. I think Niagara has identified it though. You can see that rotation coming through already as uh, the Reinhardt and Zarya try to meet them. All right, they're ready and raring to go. Hi, Fizzy, giving support to Ham. The turret already, the turret's going down for Special K, not gonna provide that a little additional damage. And you see just, oh, so many members in the back line of Kinesis falling incredibly low, but the eliminations just aren't there yet. Zombie Abuser falling to the ground to get some shots in the backs of these tanks. And that's gonna be able to open this up up and keep it working out in their favor. Tack Visor finds three looking for that fourth one on the high ground. They're going to chase down Flicka, see if they can finalize that elimination. And with their mercy in tow, there's nothing that's going to be able to stop them. Ham indeed going ham here on Objective Alpha as the timer ticks down. Yeah, very, very strong play there. Ham gets the rotation of the high ground, kind of dodges away and then clears you know, the shield pressure. So, um, you know, with the tactical visor able to just kind of get through, uh, no one can really, you know, identify any way to protect the pocket uh, or, or to eliminate the pocket rather, and Ham is able to come in cleanly. Zombie abuser looking, I think, to get the dragon strike on the flank. Oh no, that's a lot of resources kept having to commit to keep the Hanzo alive. Bubble mm -hmm. and immortality field both now on cooldown. Oh, we'll have to wait and see. They're probably gonna use server room to go ahead and hold off before they move their way back in. The Ant Matrix comes out for Aristalia. Dragon Strike invested as well. Just everything being shot into the server room. And Niagara will continue to hold the line. Special K is able to take one. That's going to be easily rectified by High Fizzy. Minute 39 remains on the clock as they wait for the next engage. The reaction time here from Niagara University is a night and day compared to the first two maps. Mm -hmm. This is a team that really has a plan of attack and has really come through in a big way. Now, I mean, this is make or break fight for Kenesha's College on this on this objective, right? They need to win this one, and they need to win it without committing too many resources because they need a chance to snowball if they want to be kept in this map. Again, time is not their friend here, uh, and Niagara University have really sectioned off this, this uh, teleport play. Oh, Mella Monster getting a little too aggressive. Finds nothing but Ham's tack visor there. And that's the other support going down there at the end. Zombie Abuser here on the high ground helping to clean up the remainder 
of Kinesis College. And again, just nothing can be done. 50 seconds remain. We're looking at possibly a final fight, but Flicka in the back line. If uh, Flicka can stay alive and get a pick off, this is good. If he gets identified um, and eliminated, this is really bad. Mm hmm. Well, we got to hold our breath just a little bit in hopes that it won't work out that way. There goes Flicka, looking to get the advantage. Got to get that rotation out there. Got to get that attack visor online and provide that support. There it is, the barrier, the attack visor, the kitchen sink being thrown at this objective. It probably isn't the best use of all those ultimates they built up. Maybe not see it as much of a snowball as we wanted to, but hey, you at least got objective. Objective Alpha, you live to continue to fight as you unlock Point Alpha to move into Point Bravo. Yeah, so I mean, exactly so, right? And there still is there still is a chance to kind of get in. They will not have the same time bank or better than Niagara University, just due to the mm -hmm. fact that they are in overtime. Um, there is a possibility, though, right? You have the coalescence here. Um, if you kind of block bravely, shatter, and kind of dance around the amplification matrix, you could force a rush play here. I don't know that I agree with Flicka on the uh, Farah. Without a pocket, it's especially in a map that's as close quarters as, as Volskaya, you can really challenge the Farah in the air here. So Flicka gonna definitely have their work cut out for them. Well, it definitely it kind of depends. Really, the only one that can kind of reach out to them is Aristelia on the Baptiste. So as long as they keep them at bay and trying to keep the keep them more in heals mode by applying the damage, maybe they're able to avoid that. It looks like right now Flicka is just living rent-free up here in the sky. But the picks are coming in for Niagara. They're not gonna be letting any but to get into that objective anytime soon. With two minutes now on the clock, Kinesis got to regroup and figure out a different plan. Yeah, it's uh, that being said, there wasn't really a lot of commit from Kinesis. They just mm -hmm. wait. Um, uh, Araceli actually got uses the amplification matrix as the kind of uh, dissuading factor um, in, in that fight. Now, I mean, Niagara University have the ability to stall this out to overtime. They only really need to win one more fight on this map to prevent Kinesis College from even having a second attack run. So, um, while they would ideally like to just close it out right here, right now, this next fight is an absolute must win for Niagara if they want to keep this series in their favor. That is true. Very interesting rotation here from Kinesis. The tire coming out, rotating around, finds Upstate Stu in this side room. And honestly, I'm not, I, I can't even tell you for certain why exactly uh, that rotation happened the way it did. They got separated so early, the tanks were out on their own, and now they're stuck with a minute left on the clock. And like you said, possibly not a second attack to be able to come back to. Yeah, there should be, uh, this should be the opportunity here to close this out and, and force an overtime at the very least, right? Um, mm -hmm. Canadian College have very little chance of capturing the objective, and even if they do, it's not going to have with time remaining. It would require a miracle play from them here, and they would need an, an early pickoff. They need a pickoff right here, right now, and then they need to get to the objective. Niagara University just need to slow time down here, try and prevent this fight from happening as early as possible. All right, well, somebody cue up the Shrek 2 soundtrack because Canisius College need a hero right now to make this play happen. Flicka working their way up. That barrage is online and ready to unleash Bravely, falling incredibly low, but is able to take Daddy Mixer out of the fight. And there's the barrage. Oh, no. But with Ham back in on the Cassidy, it is dead, done, and dusted as the timer ticks down. There is no way, no way how Kinesis College is going to be touching Objective Bravo again and Niagara coming back from halftime with a renewed sense of hope and strategy put their first point on the board looking for that reverse sweep. Very, very well played there. Understanding what your win condition is is a lot of a, a huge part of how you approach fights, right? Um, if you know what you need to do to win, um, then you're able to take the fight that much more cleanly. And from Niagara University, it was Ooh. a 180 from their performance in the first two maps. No question in my mind that that's the case. And so um, rightfully earning their first map of this series to give themselves the 2-1 score line, not out of the woods yet, but certainly mm -hmm. making significant progress um, towards perhaps forcing a map five um though again uh, I, this has to be now kinesis college trying to adapt and respond to what niagara has brought to the table 
That is true, and I didn't even notice that initially during that dead I ended up shutting down the beat that probably would have helped them sustain on that objective. So it's just coming down to a lot of perfect timing there for Niagara. You know, whatever coaching or whatnot they got during the break is really helping out that additional uh, focus fire concentration that they've got coming into this matchup after the halftime is really turning the tide and now it's kind of in Kanisha's court to uh, to see what they can do uh to kind of uh mitigate this newfound sense of hope yeah uh I, and something i something i'm really appreciating though from uh from niagara university is that uh two players have stood out in my mind in, in a big way uh one is ham on on the hit scan roll uh, has been consistent um which i think is something that you really need from sort of your your damage dealer um the 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 cassidy has really is, is really about sort of holding down the fort right um yes you can have those flashy plays however it's not as flashy as like a widow or a hanzo right you're not getting those highlight reel um pickoffs consistently but it's been significant damage throughput that has really uh put pressure on the front line uh, of kenesha's college in a consistent manner and so that has been and kind of um, a highlight. Ar Aristelia also on the Baptiste has really oh, been, I think, a revelation in the um, in the sport role. Um, and I think the ba Baptiste specifically has been kind of where uh, her strength has, has, has shown, um, especially as we're seeing the amplification matrix built so incredibly quickly. That is true. I was uh, hoping to see if I could get a little bit of data on the uh, on the players here. Unfortunately, we don't always get uh, all the information about the players i was hoping maybe i could find a little bit about ham uh yeah actually that that's that makes sense that they're turning the tide because of all the members of both teams they are the only grandmaster that is playing in this matchup today so of course you gotta have them on that dps role and like you said a very steady hand on whatever hero they seem to be coming out on our next map is going to be taking us to dorado to see if niagara can keep up this momentum Oh, look at this. It's going to be the um, pirate ship composition here from Niagara University. The double shield into the Bastion. So a lot of a lot of, uh, a lot of damage zombie abusers are going to be able to put out. And I don't know the shields for Canisius College. The fact they have two, uh, I still don't think it's going to survive for very long. Oh, I love me a good pirate ship, Lafon. Yes, I do. This is looking real pretty right here. But Zombie Abuser had to abandon the payload just to be able uh, to get in position. They were just getting splattered a little bit too hard. Hopefully, they'll be able to get reset up here as they rotate into Blicka the show. has rip tire already. Ooh. <laughs> Kinesis looking for it. Oh, but Zombie Abuser heard it immediately and just lays it right on out. Ham on that rotation finds Flicka with the dynamite and this terrain is not stopping. It's just slow down at the station. Dragon Strike comes out from Special K, finds a double and it looks like now this stop will indeed be the break that they need to shut this down. Yeah, that's uh, a case there of uh, just in a choke point, uh, AOE damage. You know, we, we joke about zoning ultimates. That was a zoning ultimate that also happened mm -hmm. to deal a lot of damage. And the front line just could not survive. And the supports doing what they could is not enough. Zombie abuse are not getting off the, the, the Bastion. The right call. You do not have... Um, you know, you don't have cart control, so having this aerial threat is a lot better. Again, Kinesis College have double projectile here in the Junkrat, not really known for their aerial, um, you know, uh, abilities. Um, so, you know, this is putting pressure on the back line, and I like that Niagara University is adapting here. Yes, that is a good rotation. They wanted to make sure they could at least get out the gate with something to start. Falling incredibly low, Special K, and Flicka does get found as well with the DPS almost going down in this fight and the Bob from Ham already invested. They are opening up a can of worms I don't think the Kanishas were ready for. They invested so many ults just to hold that choke and had nothing to defend it there in the end to hold on. With a minute 49 on the clock, Objective Alpha is captured as they make their way into Area 2. Yeah, Niagara University have done a good job of forcing Kanishas College off their comfort, right? Um, this has, like, the Farah has now forced Flicka to go over to the hit scan, right? And this is not something that Flicka has, like, the most success that Kanishas has found has been with the Junkrat, right? Those rip tires mm -hmm. on Lizard World come to mind. Um, but, uh, you know, Zombie Abuser and the, the sort of the, the changes in composition have made things a lot more difficult here for Kanishas College. 
And already you see Zombie Abuser getting the D-Mech onto Ghost. Ham swapping over to the Genji uh, to try to see if they can do a little bit more damage, you know, close that gap and really get into the faces of Kanishas. And once again, like we said, they're their Grandmaster player. They're going to know how to manipulate and kind of move around these players as the chaos ensues. Uh, I, I, I like to commit there from Niagara University, right? This is what we praised Canisius College for in the first two maps. And um, mm -hmm. the fact that Niagara has picked it up is, is a good start, right? Recognize those uh, moments where you have to chase down those eliminations. Don't allow the stragglers to escape. And Canisius College, don't even overcommit. They still have those resources. DC224, though, so very weak. That is true. We see the, the bulldozer now coming out as the Dragon Strike gets released. Finds DC, not gonna be able to get them healed up in time, but Zombie Abuser still has this barrage online ready to be unleashed at a moment's notice. It looks like Flicka has swapped over to the Ash now uh, instead of the Soldier as the blade gets unleashed. Ham just decimating the back line, chopping them up into several pieces. And when an opening was not there, Ham opens the can and takes objective Bravo. Four minutes back on the clock as they make their way into the bunker. Nice sleep onto Ham there. But no, that's a good read from uh, Niagara University. They they recognize where uh, that Community College just overcommits a little bit and they actually commit the ult to it. It's a smart play and the damage boosted to Dragon Blade still finding value. So Niagara University, again, a lot of time left here on this third and Zombie Abuser has now found this flank. Okay, that's a little, that's a little bold, but they're still gonna be able to move the cart forward even with that elimination coming through. That's true, that's true. Uh, Ghost working their way in, gets eliminated quickly as we see ultimates being built up once again. Niagara has so much in the bank that we've yet to see them unleash. I don't think that we've seen the this uh, supercharger used yet of course now utilized now but the nano's in on upstate stew and they are just going through swing and unfortunately there's just too much to keep everyone alive and now the valkyrie is healing everybody back up zombie abuser back in the fight gets the final two eliminations and now furious george enters the battle it's just barrage down just the solo barrage to take them out of the fight but upstate stew able to get a quick pick there at the end with the tackle finding high fizzy as well with the supports out of the fight for niagara this might be it they might not be able to keep this going with the spam from spawn they're gonna have to pull back for another fight regroup with the team at this two minute mark yeah, that's gonna have to be the reset. Um, Niagara just seeing victory. They saw it in, they saw it there, right? But they weren't paying attention to what was behind them, and that was the respawn queue. And Kinesis College, you know, coming out of spawn, the pin from Upstate uh, Stu actually gets an elimination um, onto the Baptiste for Niagara University. So that is not ideal. And now Niagara, uh, what looked like a really strong performance, is now starting to, you know, uh, dwindle away. We're seeing switches come in for Niagara University, but. I don't know that they make a lot of sense, uh, you know, for this for this final point. And a minute 45 is not a lot of time. Mm, I think they're just looking to, for that single pick potential. Grabbing the Hog, the Reaper, and the Doomfist to put in the fight. But Daddy Mixer uh, is indeed mixing things up here on Niagara. Flick out even swapping over to this Farah as well uh, to be able to create some space here in the hangar. And that's going to be just about it. A minute 20 remains on the clock as the picks keep coming in onto Niagara. And they should be able to get this elimination onto the Roadhog. Actually, mm, Brave nope. Leaf dancing around. Still manages to survive. <laughs> oh. um, but their zombie abuser goes down. So it, it, it ultimately makes no real differences. Um, this is going to now be, you know, a minute left. And so this is final fight um, in, in the map. And, oh, Brave Leaf, yeah. you need to land that hook. Dodging away is going to mean that there's no pickoff potential here. Um... Oh, a good old sandwich right there. Upstate Stew not watching their back. 
As we see Bravely moving their way in. Got to take down the second tank as well. But you got to get yourself healed up. There we go. Valkyrie invested from high fizzy to try to be able to hold this line. And here comes the Ant Matrix right on cart. But the aggression of Melon Monster just booping them off of it so they can't utilize it to its full value. That whole hog coming through. The barrage comes out, but Ham with the Storm Arrow as they swap over to the Hanzo are looking to clean things up. But this coalescence is just too much for them to deal with with 10 seconds on the clock. I don't think we're going to see it. Oh, wait. No, this, I mean, <laughs> they, they, found, they, found, they found Ham out. Yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. He was so close, but he is going to be able to get the touch, be able to trigger the overtime, the roll in from Brave Leaf, but the Deadeye does indeed find them in the end. And unless a miracle play happens here, which I don't think it's gonna, this is just going to be shut down after shut down, moving into the objective again. So close, but no cigar. Kind of a repeat of what we saw on Blizzard World. But hopefully Niagara doesn't take it too hard. You know, Point Charlie is always difficult to get into, uh, especially with that respawn advantage of the defenders. All they got to do is hunker down and keep them at bay in the first two points. Yeah, again, respectable performance. I, I bolstered mostly by their first and second objectives. Um, the third objective, after they got, you know, it was that first push, right, that they had uh, success on, and then once that failed, um, it kind of fell apart, right? It's so hard to aggress onto that third point that um, you kind of need the momentum of the compositions that you're running. And with Niagara University, you know, we, we, we praise them for when they switched to a composition that made sense. I kind of have to critique them when they make when they switch to a composition that doesn't. And I don't think that the, uh, the Roadhog look really gave them a lot of... Um, a lot of success or even a lot of opportunities for success, right? So mm -hmm. um, counter that with, or, or, or sort of contrast that with the fact that they, you know, identified an opportunity on the second phase with the Genji Blade, right? That was sort of, I think, Niagara at their best. And if we see that team perform here on the defense, then uh, there's a very high likelihood of us going to a map five. All right, well, let's see if they can make it happen, Ham. Going to be taking up the archer this time around. I'm looking to see if they can create some space with that. They're going to be facing off against Special K, who is also looking to play that Hanzo and Flicka, of course, coming out on that junk rat to be doling out the damage that is needed. I do like the adjustment of the supports on either side as well. Seeing much more of a of a uh, divey avoidance style from Kanishas, where Niagara is looking to bunker down. Yeah, the, uh, uh, this allows you to play much more quickly, right? Because you have a rush composition. Um, mm -hmm. Bringing the, the, the Moira and the Lucio can both play in close. But, I mean, can you just not actually trying to close the gap that much here? They're allowing Niagara University to just poke for free. So, um, strange if they give up the high ground control. Uh, and that's going to cost them a special K gets taken out early. All right. Well, we'll see if that's going to be enough uh, to be able to hold this line right now, DC. Falling a little low right there, but the supports are there to keep them up in this fight. Bravely just swinging right away at Upstate. Stu gets, keeps getting healed up and keeps taking them on down. And the Shatter's already online for the next fight. Yeah, I'd like to see Kanisha's path through the um, through the mega health pack side there on the on the far end to try and get the high ground rotation. So they have advantage with their rush. You know, use the sound of uh, the, the, the speed um, the speed boost to get in close and then kind of brawl away, um, especially with the Junkrat and the Reinhardt. But um, I mean, Niagara University have correctly, you know, found, oh, that's a great Dragon Strike. Ooh. They sought them out perfectly. Double kill, triple kill coming in. Uh, there's nothing else to say about this fight. Kinesis tail between their legs heading back to spawn to try to see if they can change something up yeah i mean that's that's the problem right this fight happened too late uh for kanisha's college now they're going all in on the brawl they need to do that rotation again there's nothing there that can stop them from getting in close i don't like them playing this this low ground look here um with the composition they have the tire comes in but perfect timing oh no the shatter comes in though kinesis able to use the tire as a distraction to open up the opportunity for upstate stew to lay everybody on the ground the only ones remaining are ham and high fizzy to see if they can turn the tide but i don't think that it is going to be enough they might be able to get in for another contest but it's gonna have to be quick not 
Not gonna happen. Four minutes back on the clock as Niagara pulls back and hopes to defend Point Bravo. Yeah, they'll start. They'll start. They'll be able to hold close though, right? They won't have to worry about kind of getting up this high ground. Um, Canisius College has now prevented the opportunity from kind of taking advantage of their rush composition. You've got the shatter from Brave Leaf. I mean, you've got a check marks across the board for Niagara University, and you need to be the first team to execute on those, right? You need to give yourself that advantage because the longer this goes on, the more chances Canisius College is going to have to walk back in. All right, the Dragon Strike comes out from Ham, looking to separate, but it's a little too late to do much anything. Special K here flanking around, does find High Fizzy to start things off, and with the 4v6, 3v6 now, whoa, Decimation Alley as the tire comes out to clean up the remainder of Niagara. They're going to have one last chance to be able to get into this objective, but I'm not for certain if there's anything they can do against Canisius and how fast they're moving. Well, Ghost finds out Zombie Abuser on the flank, so that's mm. going to be this is going to be a 5v6 fight to start off with, and you need to buy time here. Ooh, well... That's a good way to start things off. Flicka is able to still get the pick, though, with the uh, with the trap. But Ham finding some advantage with that Doom Fist to get those single pick potentials. Zombie Abuser back on the high ground, but no! C9! That's oh! a C9. That is a C9. That is unironically, unmitigatedly, just completely a C9. That's all there is to it. They won the fight! Niagara won the fight. They won the fight. They just didn't contest the objective. That oh, is a C9. Oh my goodness. Reset the marker. It's been zero days. Oh my goodness. Oh man, my whiteboard is, you know, I was really hoping today, LaFont, that my whiteboard wouldn't take a beating. But you know, uh, the eraser is there for a reason, I suppose. Single pick potential still working out really well for Ham on this Doomfist. Has really kind of found a, uh, a momentum that is working out for them. They're clearing the objective relatively well but it's five minutes 30 seconds on the clock and remember this is still match point for kinesis college if they can get this dub then it's game over ham is still doing a great job of just slowing things down though gets ghost yet again and uh has has really slowed it uh, you know uh, eliminated the chance of this being a full fight staying alive just making sure to find that you know opportunity to put pressure on the flank um and, and if you get and, and these pickoffs are really uh the more separated these pickoffs happen for Niagara, the better, because it drains more time off the clock. So, hey, I'm just playing that, playing that uh, timing pretty well here. That's true. I, I mean, I got to say, I think Ham's a Bee Gees fan, you know. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, staying alive and all that jazz. But we will see if that will continue forward as they go ahead and take the high ground. Kinesis looking for that rotation. Immortality oh, does not find DC in the end. And unfortunately, uh, it seems that Aristalia is trying to high jump on, uh, trying to jump on that high ground, but is in the worst place to be able to do it. Ham is the only one left available and ends up finding the Hellfire shotguns to the back of the head. It's final fight territory, and there's still two minutes on the clock. Still, though, uh, Canadian College has to win this fight. They really, really do, because otherwise, we saw what happened to Niagara on their attack run. This is, needs to be an aggressive play with the support ultimates early. There's a sound barrier. Good start. Uh, sound barrier to try to mitigate the tack visor right there. As we see Ghost rotating behind the team, looking for uh, those additional picks. Uh, to try to help them out and get that self-destruct online. Gonna end up getting demeched though, but the immortality field does end up going out in the end. The cleanup is starting to become a little fierce for the side of Niagara, punching out. Mellow Monster looking to follow up onto Special K, but is going to be unsuccessful. Niagara holds the tide back just for a little bit longer, but there's still a minute 20 left on the clock and ultimates on the board. Here's the problem. It's defensive It's defensive prowess here. It's defensive advantage here, especially with Ham being as aggressive as they are. Um, they're going to have the, you know, the meteor strike very swiftly, and Brave Leaf is going to have the advantage here with the Earth Shatter, right? You have to walk into the defense. So uh, all eyes really on Niagara University. This is their fight to win, um, uh, barring Canisius College coming up with a, sm like a smart pickoff. Um, and really, it is going to be down to positioning here for Niagara University. Um, Again, the fight should open up with the amplification matrix as they try to walk in, which is going to give both Ham and Zombie Abuser their ultimates, which then means that Brave Leaf is going to have a free shatter. So, uh, Niagara University really in control of this fight. 
All right, well, we see the Amp Matrix come out and they get immediately bumped off. Special K out with the Blossom, though, does find High Fizzy. Here comes the Tac Visor looking for the picks where they may, but the picks are coming in for Kanisha's instead. Just, I don't think even Zombie Abuser noticed that that was Ghost in their backline that was just looking to absolutely dominate. And here comes Ham looking to save the day the best they can. Finds Flicka. Daddy Mixer gets the trade on the plate on to uh, uh, Brave Leaf though to try to see if they can hold this ghost still has the self-destruct online just enough to be able to clear the objective if at all possible but the shield holds everything together the picks continue to come in the reback onto Aristelia there's just nothing that Niagara can do it's a feed fest right now spin to win coming out from Brave Leaf as Ham is back in the fight but there's just too much focus fire from Kinesis they want to put that first win on the board and bring it on home for the holidays and they will do it here on dorado bringing our series three to one and walking away with the victory congratulations to Canisius college though in that last fight it really was all all odds against them able to dodge so much damage ghost putting in so much work on the diva in that final fight, right? They cleared the Ant Matrix solo. They got the eliminations in the flank, as you highlighted, and were able to stabilize and stay alive um, in the later half of that fight. So the off tank putting up big performance there uh, in in that last engagement uh, to give Kanisha's College their first victory um, as they walk away with a 3-1 score line. Hard fought, no doubt, but uh, one they definitely should be proud of. Yeah, I know I know we were talking about during the break that uh, typically we see these go either one way or the other. So it's a very nice, refreshing change of pace to see a match so hard fought and so close throughout the uh, throughout the entirety of the match. It really could have ended up going either way. So Niagara, you have nothing to be ashamed about. You left everything on the table and that's what matters most at the end of the day. We're going to head to a short break so that we can get our interviewee. So don't go anywhere. We'll be back with more EGF in just a few moments. Welcome back, Overwatch fans. Coming in from Kinesis College, we've got Special K DPS Extraordinaire. <laughs> uh, definitely one of those holding the line here uh, to, to be able to secure this victory. Special K, a very hard-fought match today. How are you feeling? Um, honestly, I'm feeling like I'm like shaking right now. I got I kind of <laughs> got I kind of got chills right now so it's just i'm just super happy um to nice. actually you know to actually get a win especially to 
close out the semester. Uh, yeah, before, that's before absolutely the true. We were kind of uh, noting on that uh, that this matchup was really kind of had to be kind of the nail in the coffin. So now that you got one in the dub column uh, before heading to this kind of elongated break uh, that's going to be happening for the next couple of months, kind of what are the plans for the team other than, you know, the usual scrim, VOD review, stuff like that? Um, we haven't really thought that much yet about plans okay. over the break, but um, I'll definitely try to think of something, you know, for the... <laughs> For the, for, the, for the team to do. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully you all will be doing some uh, some fun things. LaFon, got any questions for our amazing player here? I mean, yeah. I mean, sometimes you got to take a break, right? The, uh, the yeah. holidays are uh, a time for that. So, you know, uh, that's something to kind of consider as well. Although I do want to draw back to, to the match a little bit because um, you guys really did look extremely strong on control. Uh, it, also on Blizzard World, you looked really good. It kind of, you know, it slipped away from you on Volsky Industries and you fought it back on on, on, uh, on Dorado. Uh, name me a moment that kind of stood out to you, right? It has been a tough season for y'all, that's for sure. But uh, from this game specifically, what is the moment that kind of stood out to you and said, all right, great, we took that we took that victory here? Um, It's kind of hard to think of like a specific like fight or moment from the match. I'm just kind of thinking more um, general about you know the team actually like coming together more than i've seen so far this semester um i felt like our communication was really good like listening to each other um flicko was popping off on some of the tires you know <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah i i'm not just, yeah i'm kind of lost for words right now yeah, for um, sure. You get to uh, you get to bask in the glory of the victory here. Uh, yeah. No doubt about it. All right. My last question for you is, um, you know, uh, what's next? What's next for the team? Um, you know, we, we obviously heard you haven't quite prepared stuff for, for the break or after it. But um, what do you expect in, in the future going back for, for, for your squad for your squad? Um, well, next semester, I definitely expect to um, have another kind of difficult time, um, you know, playing against some of the other teams um, mm. that have looked really strong so far this semester. Um, so we just, you know, have to keep going at it like we have um, every match so far and just keep, you know, keep sticking with it. Because honestly, when, when you kind of, when you're kind of in a team like us and you, you experience a lot of like, a lot of losses week after week, it, it's kind of hard to find motivation to keep going so um it's really um i, I know, i'm still kind of lost for words but i'm just really like pr i'm just really proud of my team for you know sticking in um th throughout the whole semester and i'm glad it could at least the semester i'm glad it could come to you know, like a happy conclusion and a good ending <laughs> That's absolutely great for y'all. And we, we've kind of been uh, talking a little bit about that both on stream and off that the collegiate team right now is kind of kind of in this kind of uh, transition. You know, there are a lot of colleges that are really investing, you know, really uh, treating esports like the sport it is and going out and finding players. So you find these, you know, these really stacked teams like uh, UConn or Wichita State. So definitely we can understand how, how for teams that may be a little bit more casual you know just try trying to have some fun in the games that you love it does make it incredibly difficult but hopefully this win tonight just shows how important uh it is to keep your heads up and keep trudging forward because at the end of the day you only can hang your hat on the laurels that you leave at the end of the day um you know putting everything out on the field and your performance today was absolutely incredible uh, we're going to go ahead and send you back to your team. But before we do, I'm going to give you a chance to shout out anyone or anything that you'd like before we let you go. Um, okay, so I actually have two things. Um, okay. First of all, um, like I said before, you know, just a shout out to the team, to my team in general. Um, like I said, it's kind of hard to find motivation sometimes um, during the semester in our circumstances. But um, I'm still, again really proud of all of them for just persevering through all of it and just you know keep to keep coming back 
week after week. And also, I also wanted to give a shout out to the team we just played against, Niagara, because they've been they've been kind of struggling similar to us. Um, we've kind of been under similar circumstances in the league. And so the same things I said about my team um, translates to them as well. I I give them all the all the utmost respect from me for sticking sticking with it um, as long as they have just like how my team has. Absolutely. With both of you now having a win on the board to be able to end the season with, it's definitely one uh, that, that you can take a little bit of pride in. And who knows, you know, sometimes we see things kind of shake up uh, during the uh, semester break. So who knows? Maybe we might see uh, some new faces on the Kinesis team on the other side of this. Thank you so much, Special K, for joining us. We're going to send you back to your team so that you can celebrate. All right. Thank you so much. For having me. No problem. All right. Well, LaFon, that was an exciting match up to see. And I'd love to say that we have another one lined up right now. But unfortunately, we ended up having a forfeit come in for our second match. UConn ends up walking away with a win against Siena College. So we're going to be taking kind of an elongated break at 7.10 Eastern Standard Time. We're going to be seeing Wichita State University go up against DePaul University. DePaul, another one of those teams, kind of been struggling this season thus far. So hopefully, might be able to see them come out with the win. Anything else that you want to say, LaFon, before we send it to this uh, to this break? No, uh, see you on the other side of it.